Gonna be honest with you, really not feeling it right now. I haven't actually watched any of these videos, so I don't know how well you can actually hear me over the roar of my AC, but some are in Texas, so deal with it. Uh, I don't know why, but I've just been feeling lonely this week. I really can't explain it, I just, I don't know. Something just hit me, and I just wasn't feeling it. I'm just not feeling it at all right now. And then, you know, on top of that, already feeling lonely, I start reaching out to people. Like, I don't tell them that I'm lonely or that I'm just dealing with depression and stuff like that. I just, I just reach out, like, hey, how's it going? Like, how you doing? Whatever. And I send them random facts or whatnot. Like, hey, I saw this in the news and blah, blah, blah. No one wants to talk to me. It's, it, I'm, it's possible my phone's broken. Part of me is hoping that it is and that people have been texting me all week and I'm just not receiving them. I've had that something similar happen where someone sent me a message and I didn't get it till a couple of days later. I'm yawning. I don't even feel that tired, but apparently I am. Like, once I sat down, I realized my legs were a little worn out. Like, I got off a nine-hour shift, but it's actually been a pretty easy week at work. Uh, Tuesday and Saturday are probably the only normal days I had. Wednesday, it was super slow, and I was able to basically just... Um, like I, like I was, I got all this sidewalk and other stuff I have to do like in between my actual job. And so, but because my actual job was so slow, I was able to just do all the other sidewalking bullshit like all at once. And I had like a three hour period while I was just downstairs. I didn't have to worry about going up that fucking spiral staircase at all. And then... <sighs> Then, like, Thursday, so that one, it was kind of a long day, but that meant I got to take my time and just do the damn thing. Now, I got to do my job, and, like, it was really easy and painless. And so, I, I'm not, I can't, I, I don't feel that tired. Like, my legs, like, once I sat down, once I got off my feet, my legs suddenly started being like, oh, God. And now I don't know if I can get up again. Like, you know, I got out at midnight. It's 1 o'clock now. It did not take me that long to get home. But when I got home, I started doing a couple other things. Then I sat down. But, uh, yeah, it's just... It's a... It's like... Uh, Wednesday, it was a long day, but it was really easy. It wasn't that exhausting. Uh, Thursday, I went home, you know, before we closed. It was an early day. Got a lot of stuff done out of the way early, and then end of the night we had like one table that showed up late, and they were taking their sweet time. So I was like, "Can I go? Y'all don't really need my help with this." So I got home early and got to just chill with some video games and some TV. And then Thursday, I, no Friday, I was told not to come in, but there were certain things that I needed to do at work. You know, just a couple of things here and there that had to be taken care of. And so, I was like, let me just come in for a few hours, do my deep cleans, run a couple dishes, we're good. And then, so I did that, but, you know, pretty relaxing morning, pretty relaxing afternoon. Uh, the afternoon was a bit hectic, because I was at work for like three hours. But then, uh, I got to go home and enjoy the rest of the night. I got to see, like, almost every single WNBA game that was played this week, so that's good. A lot of interesting turnouts. And also, I got something really interesting from work. I got two big-ass bag of chips. And this one giant motherfucking can of cheese. This thing is as big as my motherfucking head. And I'm already, like, halfway done with it. I am a pig. To be fair, though, not my fault. It tastes good. I mean, it's not, like, the most delicious cheese I've ever had, but, you know... It's chips and dip. Ain't no, ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Mm. 
you know why they gave me this? Because I asked. It's interesting how that works. Sometimes in life, you just ask and you get what you want. Still, it kind of amazes me. Like, I didn't even stop to think about it, but somehow I've gone through half a bag of this, half a can of this, and only half a bag of chips. So, like, am I going to run out of this before I run out of chips? Probably. Still not even sure how that happened. Either the can is smaller than it looks, or the bag is bigger than it looks. Or maybe I shouldn't double dip so much. Either way, <coughs> these chips are salty, and that thing is spicy. So water. I've, I've, I've gotten more work done on my book, and I think I talked about this, how the closer, the closer we get to the possible actual release of it, the more anxious I start to become. And part of me wonders if I might have some sort of anxiety disorder, but I don't feel like I do, because I only get anxious in times when you should be anxious, because like, I'm actually, I'm taking a big risk here, spending a lot of money up front for artists some of who don't turn out as well as they need to. <coughs> Struggling with a lot of stuff right now. And I just, I, I feel like I have a right to be anxious right now. I mean, anxiety has kind of become that new buzzword because there are so many people who are just like, oh my God, I'm so OCD when really they're just a neat freak and they've never actually been diagnosed with any kind of disorder. And I think that's kind of happening with anxiety in our current economy. Like, I think anxiety does exist. It is real. Many people do suffer from it. I'm not trying to take away from them. I'm just saying that there are a lot of people who throw the word out there so casually, not realizing just how badly this can really impact someone's life. And they're just like, oh, my God, my anxiety, oh, my God. When really they're just like... They're just panic. They're just like, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. I'm struggling to put words together. I lost some hair in the drain. I don't know if you see these. Like, I got some little danglies coming out my head. One of them was actually starting to bother me, and I was considering cutting it anyways. And the next thing you know, like, I hadn't even noticed that it wasn't there. But then I see that, like, oh, my shower drain is getting, like, clogged up. And so I just reach in there to clean it out, and I pull out that really long strand of hair. And I'm like, wow, I didn't even realize it fell off. I'm shedding. For those of you who don't know, you might not see it, but I actually do have a receding hairline. And that's part of the main reason I let my hair grow this much. I realize now I haven't cut my hair in three years. I haven't done it. I haven't touched it. Well, no, it hasn't been three years. Fuck. It was like... Over a year, because like, was it 2017? Yeah, I've cut my hair twice in the past three years, I think. I'm, like me, like every now and then, I just get tired of it, hack it all off, but like I want to enjoy hair while I have it, especially now, I'm almost 30. <coughs> so it's been over a year since I last did it, so I'm starting to get tired of it. But I'm actively making the decision not to cut it because, you know, I feel like at some point in time it's all going to fall out anyway. So, let's try to make the most of these last few years. Because, like, every male relative that I have starts going bald. So, I'm going to try my best to just love what I got while I got it. It's funny because... When, I didn't think about my hair that much when I was young. I, my grandmother cut it every two weeks. Just because, as she says, if you're not going to take care of it, you don't get to keep it. So, like, every two weeks she would just, like, cut it. So it always stayed short. Because I just, I never brushed it or combed it. I just didn't care. Like, I honestly, the majority of time, I don't stop to think about how I look. 
I can go weeks on end without actually looking in a mirror. The only reason I know what I look like right now is because I keep recording these damn videos. I see myself right there, yay! But, uh, like, honestly, I don't care. But then in high school, my grandmother just got tired, and she kind of, like, put her clippers up for good. And suddenly I go two whole years without cutting it, and I'm like, this is what it's like to have hair. It's so much fun. I can do so much with it. And now that I've gotten older, it's just that point where, like, you know, it's frustrating at times. Like, it's, like, it's hard. Like, I don't want, I still don't want to take care of it on a daily basis. But I, there are times when it's like, I can do such great things with this thing. I can look really cool with it. And so it's like, I like having it. But I also, I'd rather not. Because it's just like, it's too much to deal with. I don't want to go through all this shit. But, um, like I said, I'm reaching that point where I realize I'm getting old. Like, I don't feel 30. And I still remember being, like, 10 years old. I still remember those elementary school days, running around the playground, you know, pretending to be a superhero. Like, I don't... Like, how the fuck did this happen? How, I'm 30, goddammit! What the fuck?! I feel so cheated right now. You know, I looked up the definition of a midlife crisis. Well, there are a lot of different definitions, but it's basically defined as, like, you know, a major change causes someone to, like, realize their own... Like, coming to grips with a lot of different things, like, my, but... No, I could actually just look it up, right? Like, no, I can't. I'm not wearing pants, and all my electronics are over there. Long story short, when I actually looked up what is come... it's I don't know if it's actually... Come accepted as a legal terminology or whatever, at least not at, under midlife crisis. But there's this whole debate going on or whatever. It's interesting, but like, long story short, I looked up like, oh, this is commonly accepted. At, these are some of the commonly accepted definitions of a midlife crisis, and I've done that like seven times. Like, like when I moved, when I started high school. You know, when I ran away from home, you know, when I be, when I moved into my first apartment, when I graduated college, I keep, I keep finding all these different moments where, oh, that the definition of a midlife crisis, that's exactly what happened to me at this point in my life. Maybe they should just call it a life crisis. I don't know. I don't consider myself an anxious person, at least not naturally. However, given sufficient time, I will overthink every single thing about my life and end up coming to the conclusion that... But yeah, if you've ever felt that way, just go ahead and click that like button. I feel like there's more I should have told you. I don't know how coherent all of this is. Like, I, I honestly don't even remember anything I talked about. I, I don't remember what the in original intention of doing this video was. I really don't. I think one thing I'll say, though, is that the book is coming along. Hopefully, it's July already. Well, actually, no. Actually, wait. Actually, fuck. I don't want to go look at my calendar. We're just going to a, cause it, uh, yeah, it's it's like it's Sunday, so it's te it's July. It's July first. So by the end of this month, my book should be done. I think I've edited it like four times. I'm on the fifth version. There's definitely gonna be a sixth draft. A lot of things have been deleted. A lot of things that weren't in there initially have been written in. Some stuff has been moved around. Some names have been changed. You know, originally I wasn't going to change the names, but then someone brought up to me, like, some people change the names not because they want to protect someone's feelings or anything, but because they want to protect their wallets. And I was like, hmm, I don't want to be sued, so I can change at least a couple of the names. 
because there's like one person that might just be vindictive enough to go after me, and another person that, well, while not vindictive enough, they might not be vindictive, but I just don't feel like putting them in the spotlight. And for that same reason, there are actually two people who I say positive things about and still decide to just change their names anyways. Just because, like, I don't want, in the world of internet, no, I don't want them to be subject to harassment. Whether it's positive or negative. So, there are some people that I'm just like, let's not put them in the spotlight. So... Uh, and I'm also, I keep going back and forth on the whole cussing thing because there are so many people who say, don't do it, blah, 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 blah. And so far, for the, I've cut some out, I've left more, most of it in, just because this is how I talk. This is how I talk in real life. Uh, I don't want it, it's not a scholarly thing. I want the book to be more like you and I having conversation. But then I realized, you know, I think on the next draft I might cut like half of the cuss word just because I do say the word fuck quite an awful lot. So, you know, maybe move a few of those out. You know, one, you know, the, the one person reviewed it said it loses its impact after you say it too many times. And to me, it's not necessarily about impact. Like, that's just how I talk. Fuck is my favorite word. I say it as often as possible. But, you know, whatever, I see that point, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna le cut every single cuss word out. There are definitely a few that I know for a fact, no matter what, they are staying in, because they are necessary. But there are a lot of times where it's not necessary, and it's just, eh, like, we don't need it in there, really. And I get, and I get what he says about impactful. I, I do cuss too much a little bit, and, you know, whether I like it or not, you know, I think most people who actually do read books, they'll probably have some of those same complaints about how, you know, you know, it's it for something more scholarly or whatever. So I'm looking at, I gotta, I'm not feeling this right now. I, I might just delete this shit. I have no idea what I'm doing. Mm. Oh, I slept on the floor like two two days this week. Don't I just I, I just was feeling floor time, you know?